This is December 10th of Let's Talk About 25 Days of Christmas. Today, we're watching Elf, and tomorrow, we're gonna watch Home Alone. Wait, Kenny, what are you doing? What? I figured I'd start it up since we were so exhausted yesterday. I mean... No, no. No, I didn't tell you to introduce this. Oh, come on, man. It's a one-time No, I didn't, t- Kenny, I, didn't say, I didn't tell you to introduce it. What? I, what are you talking no, about? Yeah. There is a set rule guideline, Gendy, and the number one rule is I host it. Yeah, you signed okay. for this. Can't, can't somebody like co-host? You know? No, Gendy, I'm, I'm the, the co-host doesn't introduce it. Yeah, yeah, Look, yeah. Whatever Gendy, you, you say, get, Mr. Gendy, Snowman. Gendy, I have to replace you. I just have to. Just replace me. Yeah, right. I have a list. All right. Okay. Okay, Chris Pratt, Tom Kenny. James Earl Jones. The. Okay. Well, I don't think they are gonna. Okay, what about this one, Neptune? I got a Neptune guy. Right, um... This is an outrage. You shouldn't have broke the contract. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't read the terms of service. Okay. Uh, I'm Neptune. Look Hi, at Neptune. That contract. Welcome. Hey. I, I'm right. just kind of here now. Yep. This is Gendy's replacement, heard, everyone. Heard I was needed. Yeah. Um. So, good luck. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm gonna have to call security. Security! Oh, this is not good. You'll never touch me! Uh, well, we're gonna go watch Elf, and then we'll be back after we watch Elf, because... Yeah, let's go watch Elf. Yeah. <laughs> Gendy who? <laughs> you're getting you're getting two now, Neptune. Yeah. Alright. That's inappropriate. Oh, wait, wait I didn't read the IMDB. I didn't read the IMDB. Okay, we gotta read the IMDB. I always forget to do that. To Hold up. Well someone out there might not know what Elf is. Yeah, some people aren't as smart as us. We're not smart. We're mildly intelligent. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. Crying child in the background. Great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's called the way. Life. And by the way, there's not going to be like these awkward pauses. There's going to be music in the background, so it's not going to be that awkward. Ah, uh, okay. It's still going to be awkward, just but not. <laughs> it's going to be awkward. But there's, it's going to be there, there's not going to be talking, but it's just going to be music. <laughs> Copyright free music. <laughs> no, let's get copyrighted. Let's get. Let's get. Let's get Despacito in the background. I plan on getting copyrighted today. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Elf from 2003. It's only 97 minutes long. That is very short. Um, after discovering he's a human, a man. No, I don't want an IMDb app. After discovering he's a human, a man raised as an elf in the, at the North Pole decides to travel to New York City to locate his real father. Well, that's very vague. Do you guys like this movie or what? <laughs> yeah, I've seen it before. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty alright. Like, I, I used to like I, it a lot as a kid, but now it's over commercialized, honestly. Yeah, I remember when this when Elf was so like seems so like underrated. Now it's all yeah, like, it was like a, that's always quoted yeah, it was like a so niche much. Thing. I, well, that means it wasn't a niche thing. That means every kid was probably watching it. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it was a niche thing, but it was just like that niche thing that we talked about. It was like a Christmas right. story, you know. Special, but not anymore. It's like how most memes work. They take a little bit to surface and then they're just there out of nowhere. Like really? one day they're like one day they're just not there and then the next day, hey, something new came up that's super old. It's like they're like, hey, you like that. We can market this to you. And so now, mm-hmm. they stuff, they stuff, now they put it on the cups, the shirts, onesies, yeah. the uh, ones at Walmart yesterday with it on there. Mm. Christmas in November. <laughs> Remember when that happened? Christmas happens in October, what are you talking about? Christmas yeah, October, that's my bad. Christmas does just start in October for some reason. I'm looking at some of the trivia. This is like... This is, this is some cool stuff. 
Did Trivia. You know did you know that Will Ferrell vomited while filming? I did not. Because <laughs> there was a scene where he like made like pop tarts on like the spaghetti and like all the like sugary stuff. Is like he did stun Oh yeah. Oh god, yeah. I can see why somebody gets sick from that. Yep. People, people always say, people always get the trivia wrong, and they say when he burped her loud, it was a real burp, and Emma Fratt actually did it, but he didn't. That was actually dubbed over by <laughs> a voice actor. Um, the scene where like Fitz and was chasing Buddy, it had that all had to be done in one take because like because there was just so much stuff that had to be re- would have to be rebuilt, so they had to do it in one take. Yeah. Uh, this is cool. It was, um, screenplay first emerged in 1993. Jim Carrey was attached to star. Hmm. That would be interesting. Well, imagine movies with completely different actors. Yeah, like like imagine um, if Marty McFly, imagine if Marty McFly wasn't playing with Michael J. Fox. Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like every, every that's just going like, to be the like the future of movies. Like they're just gonna remake all the. They're just gonna remake all the old ones with, with new they characters. Legally can't, they legally can't make remake Back to the Future as long, long as um, Robert Zemeckis is alive. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so it's gonna be like a SpongeBob sp- situation. They're gonna wait for him to die, and then they're gonna <laughs> announce it. And then they're gonna. Yeah, that's the why thing. they're remaking all the new episodes of SpongeBob now. <laughs> yep. Uh, and uh, I, I know exactly what it would be though if they made um, a Back to the Future reboot. It'd just be like he goes, a kid goes to the '80s and be like, "Oh, what's this? Their cell phones are so big. Whoa, is this a VHS tape? Whoa!" Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I saw that on Netflix. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's a Netflix? You'll find Didn't out. they say like 2016 or like I don't remember what the date was in the future because it's been that long since I watched it, but like wasn't it like recent? It's, for how yeah, it was like they the, estimated the, like we get flying cars. It was um October 21st, 2015. Ah, uh, 2015. Yeah. Yeah, like they were just like, yeah, flying cars, 2015. Here we are in 2020, still trying to cure a virus. <laughs> Get together, oh, by, people. By the way, um, I know it's still gonna be it's still gonna be here next month, but um, if you say things that are like current, they're gonna be really dated because this, this is going to be there uh, on YouTube in December. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's still gonna be there. So like. Yeah, Even then, like I never like specified them. when in 2020. Man, you're a lot. You're a lot more talkative than Gindy was. <laughs> yeah, I like. <laughs> I like. I like to think Gindy. Yep. I just say I whatever right I want. Him. I just say whatever I want. It works half the time. What about the other half? Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> the, other, well, the other half, I just seem like an idiot. <laughs> So is the intro over? <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, it's just kind of been happening. Well, okay, here's another. Wait, I have one more fun fact. I have, well, I have two fun facts. Um, Gotta be fun. The, the, the Santa workshop is, um, and the uniforms and everything, it's actually all based on Rudolph. Like the Rudolph designs. I think that's mm. it. Yeah, because like a stop motion. Yeah. yeah. And like the and char- also, and like the snowman character is pretty much just the one from Rudolph. When um, Buddy's walking out like Lincoln Tunnel, uh, he caused several minor traffic accidents. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was just you just you're just driving down New York, and you see Will Ferrell in an elf costume just walking down the street, you know, just vibing. <laughs> that wasn't scripted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so unscripted. The part where he like runs up to that one guy wearing red, he's like, Santa, Santa. Not Santa. That's actually unscripted. He <laughs> like literally, like he legit ran up to some random guy. <laughs> I wonder how so they did, like. How did they just go up to the guy and explain it? Like, hey man, we're shooting a movie and like you're just kind of in it now. <laughs> you want fifty dollars? Yeah, that's how they got the extras for the New York scenes. The director went out like in a taxi, just yelled out the window like, "You want to make some extra few bucks?" <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <paid them> for <laughs> the extra. Oh, 
Yeah, like that's a, that's something that you trust. Like, hey man, you want to make some money? Yeah. We're not gonna kidnap you. We're just gonna put you in our movie. <laughs> your kids want to see a dead body. <laughs> this isn't. That's the wrong movie. That's the wrong movie. Forgot the name of it, but that's a movie. Uh, we are gonna go watch this now. Um, yeah, we'll see you after we watch it. Yay, trust me. Oh, wow, what's this? This is the North Pole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Where's the snow? Why are you smiling like that? I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. Make work your favorite. That's your favorite, okay? Okay. Work is your new favorite. Fine. It's time for the announcement. Okay. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. He'll be here to take pictures with all the children. No. Better than I remember. It's still a little overrated now. Cause the commercial. Yeah. Little, yeah. Yeah. Neptune, what did you think of it? Neptune. Oh, don't Neptune. worry about him. Gendy, what did you do? Gendy, what did you? Gendy, what did you? What did you do with him? Gendy, bring him back right. right now. It's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> bring, him, bring him back. This is why we don't have. He'll be home for Christmas. So. What have you done? What movie was it again? Oh, Elf! What a delightful little film. Did you have to even see the movie? Oh, the well, I, I peeked a little. Maybe had to sneak into one of your houses. Are there cameras in here? You don't replace me. I am irreplaceable. I really got Is there a really camera in the contract? Contract? Anyways, uh, so what did you guys think of the movie? A wonderful little film. Again, it was better than I remember. Quite the existential yeah. take. Kind of ended, and it was a little abrupt, honestly. Yeah. Kind of, kind of, yeah. I like the old Pop Tart box design. Pretty great. <laughs> First thing to say was, oh, I like the old Pop Tart box, and that ended up being one scene in the movie. Oh yeah, and the Lego set that was incredible. Until it got destroyed. Yeah. Oop. Peter Dinklage is a great actor. I see every short guy. Because there aren't that many uh, little people in uh, Hollywood. What about Pop? He's short. Yeah, but he's not in Hollywood. Offensive. That was probably a defensive joke. I apologize for that. Hey, it. Hey. All the people that watch this are probably children anyway. Yeah, yeah. But wait, wait, no, no. Like... What about Kappa? Eh, they're all marked for not kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are big boy videos. Yep. Hey, have you guys seen the uh, oh. other Elf movie? Oh yeah, the nope. musical one. I watched that on Hulu like last year. Was it good. good? No. Did and you guys Jim Parsons the... play Buddy. Did you guys see the talking doll I saw at Walmart? I'm gonna send a picture of it right now. I'll put it on screen. Ugh. Oh. That's a freaky looking thing. I haven't even sent it. What are you talking about? Ugh. Ugh, that's freaky looking. Ugh. Ugh. Forget Elf on the Shelf. If you put this in uh, your kid's room, yeah, they're, they're probably going to listen to you because they won't be able to sleep. Dude, why does he look like a, he looks like a middle aged you? What? No, it don't. Middle aged me? No, he Sorry doesn't. God. I swear to God, I will put up a side by side in the video. No, no, no! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't dox me! No, I, I do the critical <laughs> thing. Thank you. 
Okay. Dying. Oh, what's that? Here's probably pencil. Uh, maybe you're in Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm in pencil shaving. I'm in pencil shaving. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what did you guys think of it? It was pretty alright, huh? It was good. What's this rated? Movie. I'd rate it, uh, I don't know. I give it an 8 out of 10. This movie yeah. makes me want to put syrup on spaghetti. Why do I want to try that? Well, I mean, given the given the savory texture of spaghetti paired alongside with the uh, sweetness of syrup, I'd say that might be a match made in heaven. I literally just ate, now I'm hungry again. What have you done, Gundy? What have you done? You did. This is all your fault. You killed first. Wait. First, you killed Neptune, and now you did this. Hey, I didn't kill anyone. Where is he? He'll be fine. I just told him to stay home and watch television. What? What? He's never coming back. You he him. will. You assassinated this is, him right this in his This is bed. why we couldn't have guest stars on this podcast. You just Wait, killed Elf him. came out November 7th? Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, this is being recorded on Gendy's birthday. Everybody wish Gendy a, a late happy birthday. Uh, Yay, Gandhi. He's 21 now. There was going to be an elf too, but Will oh, yeah, Ferrell yeah. turned it down. Yeah, it's true. I feel like it wouldn't have been very good. It probably wouldn't have been. Yeah, it was going to come out in 2013. Oh, God. Like 10 years after? God. Hey. If I would have been, been like a Christmas story too. Which, by the way, Ralphie is the one that is that in that red, and he is like, he has that beard. That's Ralphie. Look. I don't know why I pointed. Like you can see me. <laughs> huh. Fun fact: the cotton balls that Buddy eats oh, while in the doctor's office were actually cotton candy. Oh. Y'all ever just cotton. eat a cotton ball? Yeah. I was a weird kid. I've, I've literally never done that game. What? I don't know. Something about you, you the... You scare me. I was a weird kid, okay? Candy, you, you genuinely scare me. Yep. First you... First... <laughs> you know, you... You know... Assassinating Neptune. I didn't kill him! He's alive and bet. well! Where is he, then? Where is he, Gendy? I took him to a hotel. Oh lord! Did, did you not know that most murders are a lot of murders happen at hotels that, because they could just leave? No, no, it's a classy, fancy one that gives you the little Sundays and the fancy TV oh, with all the premium you, oh, channels. You wanted to die in class with a, a little TV that you got to open with a key. Yeah. What? Okay. I don't know. I was trying to quote Home Alone too, but I can't remember the exact quote. All I know is like, this is Peter McAllister. The father. Oh, I know. And I also got him a cheese pizza. Poison, probably. No, no. What? Poison? The only poison in pizza is mushrooms. The only poison in pizza is the calories. You just had to call me out like that. Y'all ever try to drink a whole two liter? No. I feel like I, I feel like I'd just be like I'd be like in a fetal position on the floor, honestly. When he when he drank the two liter, he actually drank about half of it, but he had a pump in it going into his sleeve. Wow, wait, wait, wait to ruin the magic pop. Uh. <laughs> hey, I've been refilling this one two liter with water to be eco friendly. P. No, it's Have you guys been peeing in bottles? What? No. <laughs> That's from Monster House, by the way. That's a good one. Wait. Huh, there was also the Elf Broadway play. Oh, yeah, I've heard about that. Never There's seen heroin it. No. No, no. 
Why does that seem like something Ethan Slater might do? Ooh, I want that now. Okay, literally, 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 good, literally, like... literally <laughs> put Ethan Slater in anything, and I will love it. Simp. Hey, thank yeah. you. What was the cast for the elf play? Okay, let's see um, here. <laughs> okay, okay, um... Okay, I'm I'm, uh, I'm browsing on Redbubble trying to find a face mask for work and just in general, just for like work general use because it's 11, November 16th of 2020, so we're you know during the old thing that like, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to say. Yeah, I want this mask. It's Backstreet Boys live tour. I want this mask. I'm not gonna put it on screen, but like because it's like too much editing for that, but. So, I said in the chat, it's just good words. I really wish I weren't right here right now, button, but it's a face mask and I want that. I really need that for work. Because <laughs> 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 okay, my cashier, it's perfect. Not a fast food restaurant, but you know, whatever. I can't believe they got Jim Parsons to play Buddy in the cartoon movie. Yeah, yeah. That's Sheldon from yeah. the Bing Bong show. Yeah. Sure is. Wait, Mark Hamill? No way. Uh, I think I know who that is, but I'm gonna feel stupid if I don't know. So I'm just gonna. Can I tell the you? Joker from Batman the Animated Series. Oh, and Luke and Luke Skywalker. Okay, I was right. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> what? And Gilbert Gottfried? I don't know Star Wars that well, much, so. Yeah, Wait, there was an elf video game? Huh, only for the Game Boy Advance. Weird. <laughs> a game? Yeah, yeah, there was a GBA game released November 4th, 2004, nearly a year after the movie came out. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, that's weird. I want to see some of the gameplay of this. Alright, Elf on the GBA, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, that is so weird! You knew you can't see it. Um, I know, I know, I'm just... This is an audio like, podcast. <gasps> Woman? It's like a weird 3D platformer type thing, but for the GBA it looks... Oh, that is freaky. It's a mix between 2D and 2.5D. And yep. Right, right. <laughs> Pop your cat. You just picked up an on your <laughs> mic. Oh no. <laughs> so you just hear like, meow. <laughs> okay, so apparently the reason Will Ferrell turned down the sequel, he said. Mm. Absolutely not. I think it would be look it would like slightly pathetic if I try to squeeze back in the elf tights. Buddy the middle-aged elf. Mm. I would pay to see that. I would totally want to see that. What? Why didn't we make him really want to tackle him? Oh no. Apparently, Terry Zigwoff was uh, gonna be the director for the movie, but then he decided to direct Bad Santa instead. John Favreau, I will never forgive you for Lion King 2019. Something uh, that Saint cannot be forgiven. <laughs> So like, uh... ooh, I like this one. This one's neat. It's uh, it's uh, I'm just shopping for face masks. <laughs> it's the seaweed mustache from the SpongeBob movie, but on a mask. That's pretty neat. All right, what <laughs> goofs do we have here? Ooh. The raccoon that attacked Buddy has the sound of a monkey. <laughs> it does though. <laughs> wow. When they mentioned the Art Garfunkel concert in 81, they said it was 1985, but it was actually 1981. Huh. 
While Buddy is given advice for his trip to New York, Santa says that there are 30 raised pizzas, all claiming to be the original, but the real original is on 11th Street. Yeah. However, Santa is wrong. He's referring to famous raised pizza, which is located on the 6th Avenue and 11th Street, which operated between the 1970s to 2011. In actuality, the first race pizza operated from 1959 to 2000, and that was located on 27 Prince Street on the northern edge of Little Italy, Manhattan. Hmm. That's a pretty fun fact. Pretty weird. Continuity error. Fact. In the scene, okay. in the mar in the scene in Central Park, when Santa's trying to fix the sleigh. The trap door is open, but when Michael comes to help Santa, Santa asks him to open the trap door for him. Kit, guess, guess what was in this movie? What? A snowman. Ah! <laughs> you can't make what? the scent even a brain. Potato can, please have. My cat is insane and she keeps me yelling. I, I hate snowmen. During the boardroom <laughs> meeting with Miles Finch, a chair repeatedly moves between shots. Look, look, I, I, I just can't wait for this 25 Days of Christmas thing to be over. Just so I can, just, we can move on from snowmen. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Hey, <laughs> is Frosty on the list? No. But he might be next year. Don't be a Oh, come on. It was just one bad snowman. Uh, but he haunts my dreams. You've got to be strong. He, he rules your dreams, doesn't he? Be the I, I man got, your I'm dog thinks you are. <laughs> my dog just... Actually, my dog worships me. I don't know why. He just really loves me, and I love him so much. But it gets annoying, because he's just like... Oh, he'll just be like trying to do something, he'll just stare at me. Just, that's all he does, he just stares at me. Like, I love him so much, but he's down. Just, he, just, he just stares at me. Huh. Yep. At, 30, at, 37, at the 37 minute, 52 second mark, you can actually see an umbrella and camera on screen. I, 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 don't, I don't know what that implies. Like, it'll show it when uh, Gimbal Santa attacks Buddy. You can see on the left side that uh, there's the camera and the tripod. That's because you're taking pictures with Santa. No, no, it's like a film camera. Oh, well then. All right. Ooh, they even mentioned plot holes. Plot <laughs> holes. If What's Santa what? actually exists in this fictional universe, then why wouldn't the parents wonder how all the presents got under the tree Thank if they didn't you. buy them? Thank you! I've wondered that for years! Finally someone points that out. Santa tells Michael that people believing in that telling people he exists won't work, as that would just destroy belief in the Christmas spirit. So when he flies over the heads of all the people by the entrance of the park, so his sleigh would not crash and fly. Oh. All right, so he tells them telling people he exists won't work because that will destroy the belief in Christmas. So he flies over them showing that he exists. So wouldn't that kill the Christmas spirit then? Huh. I guess so. When well, Jovi is first seen singing in the shower, her body stalking is visible. I uh, guess so you don't see, uh, you know. All right. There is no alternate version for it. Hmm. For, for what? There's no alternate versions of Elf. What do you mean? Right. That's what the IMDB does, says. Crazy credits. The snowman closes out the movie <laughs> by saluting and... <laughs> winking at the camera. 
Hold on, let me let me look up the parents' safety guide or whatever. I'm just curious to see what they have to say about Elf 2003. There's, there's, there's a few. There's like a few curse word, bad word. Lady Nikki. All right, let's see what the parents' warning is. All right. Main male character wears rather thin and sometimes revealing tights through the film. <laughs> revealing? What? It, it, those tights covered him completely! Ah, uh, but you weren't looking, Gendy. The small yeah, children will be looking. When Buddy is talking <laughs> to Santa about about New York, Santa tells him about three things, one of them being... If you see a sign that says Peep Show, that doesn't mean they're letting you see your presents before Christmas. Actually, that means um, they're juggling small marshmallow birds. But that's Easter. In one scene, a character remarks that he gets more action in a week than another has had in his whole life. Yeah. I love how sarcastically you said action. Buddy gives his dad a bra as a present, not knowing about normal culture. Th th that's that's um that's um that's a that's a sleeping mat. Yeah. Wait, can you just use wait wait a minute? It's master just sleeping mask for him now. Alcohol, drugs, and smoking. In the mailroom, men drink and get drunk. We oh. hear the gnomes aren't used at the North Pole because they drink too much. <laughs> A man is seen smoking while in prison. A man died today. Frightening and intense scenes. An up-close shot of Walter screaming furiously in the boardroom might be a quite intense scene for younger viewers. An elf has a bad dream where everything goes wavy and bleak. This could frighten young children. What? An elf? He, he's not an elf. Buddy feels heartbroken and depressed after Walter furiously screams at him. This may be quite sad for most of the audience. <laughs> yes, sad moment makes me sad. Some dramatic music plays over some ominous looking Central Park Rangers on horseback, race towards <laughs> discovering Santa in the park. They pursue oh. Santa's sleigh flying on him in an out of control fashion. The younger kids may be concerned that they'll catch him or the sleigh will crash. <laughs> Why is this stupid? That's literally like <laughs> what people should be thinking. It's not a like parrot guide. While the doc, while in the doctor's office, Buddy receives a finger prick. He screams, but there is no blood. <laughs> That's under the violence and gore section. <laughs> the gore. It's a bloody movie. Buddy sees a man with dwarfism in his father's office and believes that he is an elf. This makes the man very angry and he runs across the table and attacks Buddy. There is no blood, however. <laughs> there is no blood. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so, oh. what, what are you going to say, Gundy? I got nothing. Oh, well, well, laugh. <laughs> Is there anything I get? Man, what else was Papa Elf in? Who? I don't know. Like, he was an elf. Let me see here. Oh, he was in the Rescuers. Not the one oh. with the mice. The other one. Oh, the one. It's the one from the 70s. That's the one with the mice. No, no, it doesn't have the mice. It's not the Disney one. Oh, never, never mind. It, it has mice. <laughs> I, 
I thought it was a different movie. You could barely see the mice on the poster. That's the movie with uh, Nikki Lady in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, Papa Elf's actor <laughs> played uh, played the professor in Young Sheldon. Gross. So originally they want they wanted um Jim Carrey to be um Buddy Elf. Yeah, yeah, I think we set that intro. Oh no. I should I should I shouldn't be on Wikipedia. Weird. I, remember, I, remember I mean, it doesn't help the fact I used to mistake Will Ferrell and Jim Carrey a lot. I could see Jim Carrey doing this, honestly. Oh, yeah. Have you seen Liar Liar? No. Ah, the truth shall set you free. I don't know what I was doing there. I don't, I, I, I don't know. Elf is a beautiful movie. It is, pre it is pretty alright. I wonder, what would happen if you put Pop Tarts and spaghetti? Probably throw up like like Will Bell Farrell did in the first take of that scene. It makes me wonder, what flavor of Pop-Tart would be the most compatible? It's gotta be something that would make a good the, crumble. The Hot Pocket one. <laughs> what? Hot po That's not a hot... There's no pop... pop hot Pock... Pop... 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 pop. There's no Hot... Pop... Hot pop, hot pop, hot pop. Are you okay? Hot pop, 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 pop. There is no hot pocket pop tart. Just <laughs> have a stroke. No, no, it's just hard to say hot pocket pop tart. What you just say? I had a friend who was like, "Wait a minute, aren't aren't hot pockets just pop tarts with meat in them?" I'm like, how dare you? They okay. have things inside of them, but that is where the similarities end. You they're don't just, bite- they're, they're just- They're just big, um, pizza rolls. <laughs> There's some cats in the background. For me, way. they're tiny calzones. If we ever get big, I want someone to animate that thing where I'm just struggling to say Hot Pocket Pop-Tart. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's Bobby. Hi, Bobby. The cat. Bobby, come see how the cats are outside. Come, come I swear to God, we're going to Oh, no, Bobby, come here. Uh, don't lick that plate. Oh, that has barbecue on it. Saying, mine's, saying, mine's saying hi too much. <laughs> she just wants well, to nobody you. cares. Come on, Bobby. Nobody cares about you. Come here, cat. Mm -hmm. ah, in the movie, play. Yes Man, in a video store, you can see Elf. Ooh, I've seen Yes Man. It's pretty alright movie. Yes Man is just Yes Man is just liar, liar. But he, but he, oh, well, he, he says yes. In an so, episode so of My liar. Little Pony, <laughs> Friendship is Magic, they make a reference where Pinkie Pie says, "I love something. Something's my favorite." It's a, I love smiling. Smiling's my favorite. Yeah, and there's Gendy, also Gendy there's Brandy also a, question mark. There's also a pony that's um dressed as Buddy the Elf. Interesting. I barely watched that show. It's just okay. <laughs> I don't get I don't get why people like it so much. I don't, I don't get it. What, from what little I've seen, it's like I, I can see the appeal. I haven't seen enough. Yeah, of it's it. like Steven Universe. I swear to God, I'm not a brony, but I want to see more of it. Kind of, I just want to like. Check it out more. See what the big, like, what the big appeal uh -huh. is more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Not yeah, a brony. what the hip hop uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am. I am not hip with the kids. I'm not. Um, I, I, I played the. I played the Fortnite and the and the gang. I play yeah. the Fortnite and the Among Us. Yeah. yeah. Kit semen kind of sus to me. You guys are Fall Guys. <laughs> oh, I would okay. play Seeming, Fall Guys, okay. but it costs. <laughs> 
It costs money on PC. I think it's free on PS4. What? Fall Guys. Mm. Is it yeah. still <laughs> free or? No. Among Us would be on Switch, fun. honestly. Among Us would be a really good game on Switch. Yeah, but how would yes. that work? Touch screen. That control stick. We could probably figure it out somehow. Touch screen. I mean, they did put Five Nights at Freddy's on the Switch, so maybe. Oh yeah, I want to get that. I want to get that still. You can, Are they going to do physical there. release or is it just digital? I think the first, the there's um the next Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm pretty sure is going to be a physical release. I'm not. I'm not. Don't quote me on that one though. Huh. Apparently, there's a pre-order thing where you can get the Five Nights at Freddy's Core Collection. What's that? Hmm, let me look. Let me look. It seems to just be the uh, four first games. Ooh, how much is it? I actually get that. How much is that? It's gonna be 40 bucks when it releases next year. That's not, actually, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's how much they are digitally. I might actually get that because... Not, I, I, like, I, I played the original game, so I kind of liked it. So I only <laughs> bought the original <laughs> games because my uh, my nephew was like hooked on Five Nights at hey, Freddy's. So hey, we have hope. We have, we have hope wanted in VR. <laughs> kid, I feel nice. like that would you would hate. I feel like you would hate that kid. <laughs> I think I played it. I think I played it, but it gave me so much anxiety. <laughs> I'm just like looking around, like, oh god. Oh, god. I remember when I first I played the demo of the second game in art class. There was like this big tough guy that was just terrified of the animatronics. I'm, I remember. So when um, we did when... the first night and made it through, he's like, you know, man, you're good. I remember on my old my old tablet that I had. Um, it was connected to Amazon Prime, and. Like a Prime account, and I, I ex, and then I accidentally bought Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> she like called us and like, what's, what's this game you bought? Five Five Nights at Frederick. Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> oh hello everybody! It is me, Frederick. Oh ho ho! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, yes, very good, very good. Ha <laughs> ha! Hello. Oh wow, the Hi. promo work they got on the Switch website is pretty cute. Huh, only 400 megabytes for the first game. That's not too bad. That's pretty small by today's standards. Wait, riddle me this. How does Five Nights at Freddy's support save cloud data, but Pokemon doesn't? It doesn't? Simple. No. Kill the Simple. Simple. Kill scary. the Batman. Simple. We kill the Batman. I just don't get it. Why do you want to stay Five Nights at Freddy's? Is this where you want to be? I just don't get it. Why do you want to stay Five Nights at Freddy's? How do we go from Elf to Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> Well, I can get you over here selling you know, Five Nights at Freddy's collection for the Switch. Ooh, I love that <laughs> box. I know, it's me. so deep and mysterious. Oh, uh, no, it's that, that simple, it's that simple, it's that simple black box. Reminds me of the VHS stick tapes. They're just like all like black, they're amazing. It looks, it looks, it looks fan made. It does, but I still like No, the no, this is on like the Amazon page. Ah, oh, the Amazon. <laughs> I love Coco. <laughs> so I've been looking at masks. Ah. Um, <laughs> I've been looking at masks, and the one I think I'm gonna get is this one, just like the duck from uh, the, the duck Is song. No, it's ah. the duck from the duck song, and it's on the bottom says "Guy in Grace." Like all over again. No, yeah. we just throw lemonade. It's cold and refreshing, like homemade. Uh, 
Pat -dum -pat -dum she just wants me to pet her. Leave me alone, woman. I don't want to pet you. Already did a bunch. One of my cats is scared of me. Fight them. Well, I wonder. We actually have a white face mask somewhere that's like this, so... I could probably print on my own design with my, my stuff I have. I just have, like, a... I just have, like, a, uh, the classic blue. That's what I've been wearing, but I want to spice it up. Yeah, yeah. Well. Did you do the Seinfeld? I'm not a thing to talk about. Well, uh, Honestly, all I, can, all I can think of, all more I can think of for, um, Elf is just all the movie facts everybody knows. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, tomorrow. We have a lot of fun is... here. It's so casual. Uh, I'm gonna my list. God, this list is just beaten and destroyed. Well, um. Uh, tomorrow we're watching Home Alone. Uh, that's gonna be December 11th. Hope you all are enjoying this podcast. You're probably not. You probably all hate it, but. No, no. Nah, nah, they're just chilling, okay. relaxing, maybe in a car. If you're giving us if you're giving us feedback, we're not, it's not gonna happen until after December because we're recording these all in advance. So. Kit, yeah. remind, Kit, remind me. Remind me to hire a private investigator to investigate what Gindy did. Uh, You'll never find out. Well, I'm not terrifying, you know. Where uh, is he? Behind, rewind. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Um. Easter. Extra Solstice. Ghostmas. You know Christmas. No, uh, Christmas. Halloween. Happy Arbor Day. <laughs>